Yo, what's up guys, it's Retro Draft. Hopefully everyone's doing well and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be looking at the Elite Trainer Box, the ETV of Celebrations. This is not the Pokemon Center exclusive one. This is just a plain Jane Elite Trainer Box that you get at your local Walmarts, Targets and stuff. So let's first cut the plastic to cut the glare. And for those that never opened one of these before, there is like a embossed design of the Pokemon starters from Gen 1 through 8. And we have the little Pokemon 25th logo right there, sliding everything out. And I wonder if this one has anything on the inside. Okay, so it just has this design. So we have the 25th logo and it says train on. Usually they would have the pack art. So starting off, we have this player's guide right here. And I'm pretty sure by now you guys seen plenty of celebrations opening. So we're just gonna skim through this and see what's inside. But it's basically just the card set or the set list overall. Yeah, so we're starting with the classic, the Gold Star Greninja that we'll be getting as a promo in this box. And yeah, so just going through the set list and it kind of divides right there after the Shining Mew. Really want to pull that card and we have the classic collection. And yeah, so nothing too special about that. And if we open this up and also like the little matte design, this is actually matte at the top. It says Pokemon Celebrations and like a glossy Ray with a Pikachu tail. Opening it up, we have obviously the rule book, poison and burn, the dice, and it's a very interesting color. It's like a white with like a maroon for the numbers, and then a translucent, or not translucent, transparent, clear dice with yellow, um, I guess, markers. We have our four dividers, so this is one design, and on the back we see the other, so black and white, very cool. Break of energies, the code card, which I'll be saving for later in the video, and the sleeves, which is basically the same design that we saw on the box, and I think it's the first time they actually include the sticker. It says contains 65 card sleeves. All right, and is a promo in here. Hello? Promo card? For a second, I thought we didn't get it, but it was kind of stuck in the divider, but we have our Greninja Gold Star right here. So if we take it out of the plastic, we see Greninja Gold Star right there. So this card is a Gold Star. It is done by Fukuda, which has done the previous Gold Star artworks as well. You know, looking at the back, it seems very clean, very nice. So there we have it. We'll put them off in the top corner. And with the Celebrations ETVs, we do get some Celebrations packs and some regular packs. And for some reason, we're getting four Chilling Rain, which I think is pretty much a bummer. But I mean, we have a bit of voltage, I guess, which is our saving grace. So the Celebrations are nicely sandwiched between the regular packs. So let's get right into pack number one for Chilling Rain. So here is a code card for to the front. And let's get into our very first pack. We have a Lightning, a Raboot, Agatha, shout out to you, Jim, Scroll of the Skies, Ghastly, Coughing by Kasube, a Delibird, really like that artwork, a Galarian Farfetch'd, Porygon, Coughing Reverse by Kasube as well, and a Obama Snow non. Hollow. All right, moving on to our first celebrations of this box. I still have a long ways to go in terms of completing my celebration set, so hopefully this Elite Trainer Box can help me, I guess, complete that. So we have a Yveltal, a Xerneas, a Ho-Oh, and a Flying Pikachu V. Very nice. So um, I mentioned this in previous videos, but I do want to get 12 copies of each celebrations card because I want a 12 pocket binder of each card filling one page, so that is a small collection goal that I have for this set. And here is another code. And for this one, we have another Xerneas, Go Focus, Cosmoem, Dialga, and a Mew. I will take all the Mews from this set. I love that card. It kind of reminds me of that Gardevoir from the previous illustration contest. And I believe it's done by the same artist, but I could fact check that. It gives me similar vibes to that Gardevoir card. So yeah, definitely pretty cool. If it is done by the same artist, you can definitely tell where the inspiration came from. But for this one, we have a Fighting, a Galarian Chestplate. First time seeing that card. Ooh, Flaffy by Suey. I love Suey's artwork. I feel like Suey's cards always have like this like fluffy vibe to them. Maybe it's just me. But Path to the Peak, Furfru, a Diglett, Larvesta, Inkay, Rockruff, a uh, not a Galarian Weezing, just a regular Weezing, Reverse, and a Golurk non hollow. Okay, code card for you guys. And for this pack, we have a Eveltal, Cosmog, Reshiram, and a Zamazenta V. But another code card. And this one, we have a Cosmoem, 
Cosmog. Can we get Lunala? We have a Claydol from the Classic Collection. Big fan of the glitter, or I guess confetti, uh, hollow. And also the texture on these cards. And behind it, we have a Lunala. So we actually completed the evolution line in one pack. So very cool with that. We have a code for you guys. And we have a Lightning Energy, a Hatrem, another Flappy by Sui, Karen's Conviction, Heracross, Cast Form, Sfeel, Hatena, Rockruff, oh, back to back, Rockruff, Reverse, and a Surfetch Non. Hello. Okay, so I feel like all these like regular packs are duds because we're not getting hollows. We're getting all the hollows just from the celebrations packs. Here is a code. And this one has a Reshiram, Zekrom, Dialga, and a Professor's Research. Since this set is so small, like these cards, especially the cards outside of the classic collection, kind of lost their luster because I don't know, it was really cool pulling them at first, but now it's just like let's just get through it and see if we have a classic card. So that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. But we have a Dialga. Kyogre. Oh, we have a Tapu Lele GX. For some reason, I believe this card is like the hardest classic card to pull. For some reason, I don't know. But we got it, and behind it, we have a Professor's Research Full Art. So, what a pack! So we got a classic card along with the full art professor's research. And if we do compare the two cards, so on the left I have the celebrations, and then on the right I have the Guardian's Rising version. So obviously the hollow pattern is different. So yeah, just a little comparison, side by side comparison. So we're halfway through, so we have another chilling rain pack. Here's a code, and let's do forward to the front. And I feel like what Pokemon does is like because we're getting celebrations packs, I feel like they just like fill the packs, the regular packs as dud packs, which is kind of a shame. But fighting energy, weeding gloves, Porygon 2, a Kakuna, Clobopus by Mori, Mareep by Tanaka, Routes, Cast Form by Sao Sao, gotta mention it every time, Snover, a Curly of Reverse, and a Wall Rain. Like again, non hollow. Before we move on, here is a code for anyone who stuck around to this part of the video. Thank you guys so much. And let's get into our celebrations. Alright, so this pack was a little bit harder to open. Does that mean anything? Probably not. But code. And we have a Xerneas, Kyogre, Dialga, and a Pikachu Full Art. Alright, I'll take as many of those Pikachu Full Arts as well. The Pikachu Full Art and the Mew are the two cards that I want the most from the regular Celebration set. Here is another Celebrations code, and for this pack we have a Groudon with Team Magma, Cosmolum, Lugia, and a Surfing Pikachu V. Very, very nice. Love the 3D rendered waves underneath of it. I love the new, I guess the new era design of Surfing Pikachu and also Flying Pikachu. And we're finally getting into probably the most exciting Sun and Moon set. I said Sun and Moon, Sword and Shield set, uh, which I think is the voltage. Can we get an Amazing Rare? Even if you get a green code, you could get a chance at an Amazing Rare. So let's hope and pray. So we have a Darkness Energy, a Telescopic Sight, Mighty Yenna, Trumbeak, Pineco, Mudbray, Poochiana, Charmander, a Chatot, a Go Go to Reverse, and a Genesect Hollow. We actually got a Holographic, which is very surprising, honestly. And on to our final two Celebrations packs. Code card for you guys. And we have a Cosmoem. ho -Oh. Ooh, there we go. We have another Classic card. We have a Dark Gyarados, very nice. And a Mew. I'll take all the Mews. Thank you so much. And let's compare this to the original Team Rocket Dark Gyarados. So this one is my binder copy. So it is a little bit beat up, but I mean, the front looks completely fine. And yeah, these are pretty much one-to-one -one copies of the original cards or the classic cards as Pokemon likes to refer them as. I also have the pre-release variant of the Dark Gyarados. As you can see right there, it says pre-release stamped in gold. But yeah, so these are readily available. These are super cheap. And on to our final celebration pack. Here is the final code card for celebrations. And for this one, let's slow roll this. We have a Cosmog, Kyogre with Team Aqua, Mega Rayquaza EX Classic Collection. Was not expecting this, but this is a great way to end this Lily Trainer Box opening. And behind it, we have a Flying Pikachu VMAX. All right, so the last two packs were just 
icing on the cake. I unfortunately do not have a copy of the Mega Rayquaza EX because this is from Roaring Skies. I do have a few cards from that set, but then not this one specifically, but love the confetti hollow pattern. Very nice condition as well. So definitely let's sleeve these up along with our Pikachu VMAX as well. And for those that watched my recent openings, I am doing a series where I open a Shiny Star V pack right here. And we do go through one clear file to kind of like showcase the artwork. So first off, let's get into our Shiny Star V pack. So we'll take one from the top and we'll get right into it because we're on the search for the Marnie Full Art. And here is like the little advertisement for something or I don't know what this is. And then on the front, we see a Urshifu VMAX. And for this pack, we have have a Meowth, a Sizzlepede, a Krogunk, a Galarian Darmanitan, a Energy of some sorts, a Sigilith, Boss's Orders, a Duraludon, Crobat VMAX, which is playable, I think, and behind it we have a Trubbish Reverse. I can't get over this reverse pattern. I think it's so sick. To end off this video, we'll look at this clear file right here. It says Pokemon with you. And this one has Pokemon in like this like circular design with like music notes and like a staff. But yeah, so just going through this, we see Chansey. We see a bunch of Pokemon from all generations right here. And if we turn it over to the back, we do see some more music notes and some Pokemon as well. So just gonna briefly just scan through this from top to bottom. But yeah, so we are doing a series at the end of each video where we go through one Shiny Star V-Pack and also one uh, clear file. But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do have more Celebrations products to open. Yeah, if you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. It really means a lot. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.